Hello and welcome to Why You Should Play Rocket Birds 2 Evolution. The game is developed by Red Loop Asia, published by Reverb Triple XP, and was out on PS4 and PS Vita and came out this year on PC. I've put the Steam link and the homepage link in the video description below. So what's the game about? You are the hardboiled chicken from the first game. So basically the story sets off after the events of the first game and you have to find out as the strongest chicken on the universe, the only one who's able to fight as far as I can see in the game, uh, why thousands of chickens get slaughtered by the evil penguins and why a certain character from the first game is still there. Uh, Rocket Birds is a 2D action platformer filled with humor, gore and tight gameplay. Uh, so you're basically shooting, jumping, swimming, flying, solving puzzles and killing bosses. The puzzles aren't too hard, but they're kind of uh, um, something to interrupt the constant fighting of the game. So basically, let's go to the negatives, and there are only a few for me. Uh, the performance made some problems in some areas, so the FPS dipped below 60 to around 40, and you probably can see it in the gameplay. And I was playing on max settings on a GTX 10, uh, 1080. So, the next thing is, I didn't find any V-Sync option in the game, and usually you shouldn't need it with a 144Hz monitor. But with my screen, it kind of teared a little bit. It was the first game, the first 2D game that I had, that had like really, really tough tearing. I don't know what it is caused by, it might just be my configuration, my monitor, I'm not sure about that. Um, the last thing, the last negative thing I have on my list is that some cutscenes feel a little bit slow. Like there's a break between each sentence and it feels a little bit too long for its own right. Um, so now to the positives and there are a lot of them, at least for me. Uh, the visual design is extremely good, it's 2.5D and it has very nice animations. So I just like the art style, I like the first one and the second one looks even better. The humor in the story works. The story is nothing revolutionary, it's fun, it's just fun, it's not something dramatic, it's not revolutionary, but it's fun and the humor works for me. The controls of the game with keyboard and mouse, which they have implemented and improved uh, upon the first game, uh, is working fine, it's tight and fluent and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I also tested the controller, the controller also worked, I was worse with it because I'm not used to playing uh, games like this with controller, but uh, keyboard and mouse is working fine. Um, so there's a good depth with the variety of guns that you have and there's always a reason to switch weapons out, maybe you don't have ammunition for them or maybe the situation is better with a a certain gun. Also you get the guns over the story uh, gradually over the story so that basically means you always have something new to explore and it varies up the gameplay a little bit. Um, there's also a lot of small tweaks and enhancements and those co in combination improve the game a great deal. So there are not any revolutionary big changes uh, that you see at the first glance but a lot of small things that have changed make the game a lot better in my opinion. And there is one thing in the game, which is basically the second chapter of the game, which I have not completed at the point of recording, uh, but it's the co-op with up to four players, uh, or you can play it uh, alone if you want to. Basically you're not playing the hardball chicken anymore, but you're playing some kind of different chicken that you will find out in the first uh, part of the single player. And I found it to be very fun. I played like 30 to 40 minutes of it and it was fun. Like it's a cool thing to have a co-op game. And it's also nice that you can play it alone even though it's a little bit tougher then. So in conclusion, Red Loop Asia did not rush their release for the PC. They reworked the controls to work with a keyboard and mouse. They uh, did a lot of tweaks and they overhauled the graphics to look a lot nicer than on PS Vita, for example. Uh, the overall experience was fun and I think this game deserves some kind of praise because the developers seem to listen to the community and seem to have listened to the community from the first game and then have improved on that. Um, overall Rocket Birds 2 Evolution tweaked and improved the best parts of the first game and also added a couple of new features that are basically fun to be honest. I just had a lot of fun with the game and I'm happy if some of you might buy the game and also have fun with the game. You should 
probably also get the first one uh, at least i think you should also get the first one because the first one was already a good game and the second one just got a lot better so i will see you in the next video bye keep clucking my friends